You still hear me? Thumbs up. Is that volume good? Perfect. So, welcome. I hope you've had a good week on the challenge so far. Um, we're going to start tonight's session actually lying down on our backs. So, a bit of a change. So, lying down, find a nice, comfy position for you. Whether you're on a mat, yoga mat, or a blanket or a towel, just lying down completely flat on your back. If you want to roll something up and put it underneath your knees for a moment, just for a bit of extra comfort, that's fine. And just finding a bit of stillness here, switching off from your day, whatever it's been like, whatever you've been doing. And just zoning out from any external noise. And just allowing the next 40, 45 minutes, just concentrating on your body, your breath, and connecting that body and breath. So I'm going to count you down from 10 to 0. With every countdown, just allowing your body, your mind, just to relax a bit more down into the ground, switching off bit by bit. So by the time I get to zero, you're completely detached from the outside world, whatever's outside that door, allowing you just to completely focus on you. So gently closing your eyelids. Allowing the shoulders to melt down away from your ears. Palms facing upwards. We're going to count down from 10. Nine. Eight, mind becoming stiller with every countdown, muscles relaxing. Seven, six, body feeling lighter, losing any tension there. Five, Or relaxing those muscles in your forehead, no frown lines. Three, two, feel that breath slowing down. One and zero. Noticing how your body feels now. As you begin to connect with that breath, noticing the inhale and exhale as it flows in and out of your body. So our theme for this evening's session is slowing down. So taking the time to notice those small things we might sometimes forget taking in each moment finding that calm in a storm allowing ourselves to just sit still and just be so knowing that yoga is not about speed it's not about competition it's about finding balance finding equilibrium and finding stillness. So we'll keep coming back to the mantra of slowing down throughout our practice today. So in your own time, we're going to slowly roll over onto our left side with bent knees.
and then gently using your palms to push yourselves up to a sitting, easy seated pose. Cross-legged. If you want to pop something underneath your bottom, then you can do. And just allowing yourself to sit nice and tall. Imagine your head light as a helium balloon, reaching upwards towards the ceiling. Nice elongated spine. Knees falling down gently to each side. And shoulders melting down away from the ears. So now engaging our abdominals, belly button draws towards the spine. And as you take a nice deep inhale, feel your rib cage expand upwards. And as you exhale, feel your rib cage contract. Inhale, rib cage expands. Exhale, rib cage contracts. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. So first we're gonna find our cow face pose. So bringing our right knee into the center of our mat, taking our left knee over the top and trying to stack both those knees, left on top of right, right in the center of our body. So bringing those feet out to the side. So in this pose, we're gonna ensure that we're not leaning forward, we're kind of leaning back into the stretch, almost a slight back bend here. So we're keeping our core engaged, shoulders down. We're gonna inhale our right arm up, bending at the elbow and reaching round to meet that right hand. So remembering not to fall forward, Lean back into the pose. So this is great stretching out tight shoulders. If your shoulders are really tight, you can adjust by just taking a hold of that right shoulder with the left palm overhead. So wherever you're at, just find a bit of stillness. Close your eyes into the stretch. We're going to extend this one for a count of 10 breaths. So close your eyes and breathe. You can always practice this one on your own. You can always use a resistance band behind your back as well if that helps, taking a grip with each hand and just slowly allowing your fingertips each time to grow closer together. Still feeling that rib cage expand as you inhale. And contract as you exhale. And well done. Slowly releasing that right arm up, left arm to the side, and bringing palms down. So we're switching the legs by turning round, swizzling round, and we should end up with right over left. So just adjusting your knees, trying to get those knees stacked on top of each other as you can, just gently adjusting the feet out, 
hips nice and square towards me. And again, just noticing the lean back into the stretch rather than lean forward. So engage your core muscles, belly button in towards the spine. We're going to inhale, right arm up. Bending at the elbow and reaching around with the left. So again, take a hold of the top of the elbow. If that's too much, your shoulders, you're feeling particularly tight today. We can grab a hold of your t-shirt behind you if that's easier. Taking your gaze up nice and high. Closing the eyelids, and again, we're going to hold this pose for the count of 10 breaths. Just stretching our quads, glutes. And reaching up with our right arm, out to the side with our left, and slowly bringing those arms down. So we're going to go back into our cross-legged pose, but leave our right leg where it is, and we're going to bend our left knee. So bring the knee again into the center of the body, up knee up nice and tall. And we're going to prepare for our seated twist. So we bring our arm up overhead, bending at the elbow, and take that right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Keep those fingertips up nice and high. And we're going to take our left arm, sweep it around the body, clamp that palm with nice wide fingers, and using your core muscles to twist around to the left, looking over your left shoulder. So a little bit of pressure there in between the outside of the left knee and inside the right elbow. Close your eyes. So we'll remember this, our focus on slowness and stillness tonight. So we're going to hold this pose for the count of 10 breaths as well. So we're waking up those small muscles in the spine. Also stimulating our digestive system here. And if you want to twist round any further, always using those muscles in the core to twist a little bit further. Nice, slow breaths, inhaling and exhaling back out through the nostrils. Gently drawing back into centre, take that left knee down and bringing your right solar foot to the centre of your body, aligning with that right knee. Elongate your spine nice and tall, remember head like that light helium balloon floating up towards the ceiling. We're going to bring that left elbow outside of the right knee, fingertips pointing high, and let's sweep our right palm behind our buttocks. And gently using that core 
to twist round over the right shoulder. If you can, allow your left knee to relax down to the mat. Trying not to tense those muscles in your left thigh. Letting them sink down, close your eyelids. And let's hold for the count of 10. So it's often harder mentally to hold these poses for longer. Your mind might tend to wander off. But if it does, just try and bring it back. Reconnect with that breath and find your stillness. Gently bring that left arm round. We're just bringing soles of the feet together. Nice and slowly into our Baddha Konasana. Just let those knees drop to the side. Again, just lean back a little bit into this stretch. Just kind of leaning forward. Allow your heart center to open. Take your gaze up nice and high. So just a really lovely stretch for the inside of the thighs. Close the eyes, looking upwards. Keep that breath flowing with every exhale. You can try just to lower those knees down a little further. Tiny, tiny movements. Every exhale, finding a little more stillness. Well done. Now bringing those knees together, drawing them together and just giving them a really big hug. Take your forehead down towards the tops of your knees. And then in your own time, nice and slowly, meeting me on all fours in our tabletop. So fingers spread really nice and wide, wrists directly underneath shoulders and knees same width apart with your wrists. So finding that nice flat back, looking down in between the thumbs. We're going to do some really nice snake hips here. So we're going to do figures of eight with the hips, moving forward towards the wrists and moving back at the bottom of the figure of eight, bottom towards the heels. So releasing out both hips here, creating nice big figures of eight and again Bringing ourselves back to that slowness, slowing down the body. So really nice, slow, controlled movements. Trying to really match those movements to the breath. So inhale as we come forward over the wrists. And exhale nice and deep as we sink back towards the heels. So we're going to do three more, nice and slowly in this direction. 
You can make the movements big or small. This feels good for you in this moment. Eyes closed or open. And then make this be your last sweet to me in tabletop. And we're going to move straight into the opposite direction. So figure of H, the opposite way. You've just been going. Still keeping that connection. Inhaling forward. Exhaling back towards the heels. One more to your own breath. And then meeting me back in our tabletop. Fingers spread nice and wide, adjusting your fingers and your knees, getting that flat spine. I'm going to inhale, raise our right hand forward, pointing the fingers ahead. I'm going to raise that left leg behind us, pointing the toe extension to the back of the room. We're going to hold still here for the count of 10. So keep breathing. Let's count for 10, 9, 8. Keep that breath flowing. 6, 5. Relax the muscles in your face. 4, 3, Two and one. Slowly take the right palm down and take that left knee down. Adjusting your pose, adjusting your palms. A nice deep inhale. Let's raise that left arm forward. Point those fingers towards the front of your room. And your next inhale, let's take that right leg back, pointing the toe. Engage your core, draw that belly button up towards your spine. Keep breathing as we hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Keep breathing, 4, 3, 2, and one, slowly take that palm back, followed by the right knee. Well done, again, adjusting those palms nice and wide, thumbs in towards each other as we move slowly into our cow pose. So as we inhale, taking that gaze nice and high, belly button down towards the mat, bottom sticking out, Three breaths here in our cow pose. And then your next exhale, arching that center of the spine up towards the ceiling, chin tucks into chest. And bottom moves inwards, clenching those Got cheeks together, belly button up towards the spine. Let's breathe for three. Now let's put that cat and cow together into a flow. So as we inhale, looking upwards, belly button dips down, bottom sticks out. And as we 
Exhale, rounding the spine up towards the ceiling, chin tucks into chest, drawing those glutes inwards. And inhale, looking up into our cow. Exhale, rounding the spine into our cat. So we're going to do 10 rounds again, nice and slowly, matching that breath to your own movements. Close the eyes if you can, use this as a moving meditation, allowing the mind to grow quiet. Also enjoying that lovely massage of the spine. Gentle back bend. Warming up those joints in the spine, the hips, the shoulders, stretching out the muscles in your neck. Enjoying that slow pace, nowhere else to be, nothing else to do. Your mind completely focused only on your breath and the movement. Two more rounds. Meeting me back in our tabletop. We're going to tuck those toes and push back into the heel, sending our bottom up nice and high towards the ceiling into our down dog. So just taking a few moments to walk the dog. Stretching out those muscles in the backs of the legs, bending and straightening. Make sure your fingers are spread nice and wide. Weight evenly distributed in the palms and the fingers. And then when you're feeling ready, finding a little stillness in your down dog. Feeling that gorgeous stretch down the backs of the legs. Calves, hamstrings. And you try and melt those heels down. Feel that stretch to your Achilles tendons. If your Achilles are too tight, you might want to walk your feet a little further in towards your body or just keep a little softness in those knees. So we're not aiming in down dog to get our head down to the mat first. We're, we're melting down with our heart center. So heart, chest melting down towards the mat. And with it, every exhale, trying to melt both those heels down a little further to the earth and our heart center too. So finding your stillness here in Down Dog. And with our next Inhale, nice slow movement. We're going to push the body weight forward into a nice high plank. Shoulders over the wrists, hips up nice and high. And 
engage the abdominals. And as we exhale, slowly sending that bottom high back into downward facing, melting those heels down a little further, heart centre sinking towards the earth. So inhale, coming forward over the wrist. Exhale into downward facing dog. We've got another seven rounds of these to go. Inhaling, high plank. Exhaling, downward facing. Seven, six. Five. Use that exhale. Four. Well done. Looking good. Three. Two, exhale it back, and one, exhale it back into down dog, well done, slowly lower those knees down to the ground, take your big toes together behind you, widen those knees and sink your Bottom back towards the heels, gently walking out those fingers in front of you, allow your forehead to melt down. So in Balasana or Child's Pose, allow the elbows to fall out to the sides. So here, with your forehead in contact with the ground. I want you to imagine your inhales and exhales coming in through that point in your forehead. Taking that inhale in through that single point. So the count of three. I'm gonna exhale it back out through that same point in your forehead for the count of five. So just focusing, visualizing that point in between both eyebrows. So just trying to imagine that inhale and exhale flowing through in and out of that single point. So let's begin inhaling for one, two, three, and release for five, four, Three, two, and one. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale for five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Return to your normal breath flow. And in your own time, with slowness, walking those palms back into your body and coming up to a kneeling pose. Head rising up towards the ceiling, shoulders sinking down. We're gonna inhale those arms up to a shoulder height. And with the exhale, bending the elbows, bringing those palms down over the shoulders. So we inhale, extend. Exhale, flexing the elbow. Give your shoulders a little touch. Inhale. 
and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. So we're going to go for 10 more. Feel those arms getting heavy. Inhale. And exhale. Nine. Eight. Seven, every exhale, feel your mind clearing. Feel that breath deepening. I think we're on four, are we? Three. Keep those arms nice and high at all times at a shoulder height. Don't let them drop down. Two. And one. Well done. Slowly release. Give those arms a little shake. And we're going to make our way up to standing. So coming up on the feet and slowly rolling up, vertebrae by vertebrae, allowing your head to be the last thing to come up, and then taking those feet hip width apart, taking those arms out to the side, palms facing out as we find our mountain pose. Crown of the head, the peak of the mountain, Reaching up nice and tall, elongating the spine, a little pressure in between those buttocks, shoulders melting down. So try and be still in this pose. Notice this is how you hold yourself in the world. Feeling that stable connection to the earth. You can close your eyes, just noticing the movement in the body here in mountain pose. Any gentle sways. Any sensations in the body here. So try not to lock your knees here in mountain, just keep your knees with a little softness. So it appears a simple pose, but extremely powerful. Grounding. Keep the center of gravity at your navel, drawing that belly button towards the spine. As you inhale, feel that ribcage expand upwards. As you exhale, feel that ribcage contract. Let's take three more rounds of breath here in mountain. And then gently drawing those arms into the side. And take a deep inhale, bring those arms up high overhead. I'm going to turn on the side so you can see me. We're going to hinge forward from the hips here with a nice straight spine. And we're going to stop here at a right angle. So in this variation, so if you've got any kind of spinal 
back or neck injuries, you can stay here, just grab a hold, just above your knees or just below your knees, just stay here in a right angle. If you've got healthy spine and back, we're gonna take that down into a full body fold. So again, if the backs of your legs are feeling particularly tight, you can keep that little softness in the knees. But we're keeping that straight spine, trying not to round that spine. As we draw our nose towards the knees, you can take a toe hold here, you can take palms to the backs of your ankles, to the heels, whatever feels good for you. With every exhale, drawing down a little further, a little deep into the fold. Allowing your head to hang down with gravity. And then slowly walking those hands back up the legs. Again, stopping at that 90 degree angle, looking forward. And again, we're going to take it down once more, nice and slowly. Taking a hold of that big toe or the backs of your ankles, nose to knee. Relax those muscles in your forehead, no frowning, big smiles, and then gently walking those palms back up the legs. Nice flat back. And then chin tucks into your chest as we roll back up into standing. Let your head be the last thing to come up. Melt those shoulders down. And from here, we're going to come straight into Uktasana, our chair pose. So again, bringing those arms up nice and high overhead. And we're going to sink down into our imaginary chair here. Feet parallel, knees parallel. Engaging your core, belly button in towards your spine. So. If it feels better to take those hands towards your heart center, if your shoulders, if it's a bit too much for your shoulders or your arms. Sinking down nice and deep. I'm trying to push you that weight into the back of the heels as well. So weight more distributed towards the backs of the feet. So you should be able to lift those toes up. Have a little look. Can you lift all the toes up? Give them a little wiggle. Hinging at those hips. Keep those knees parallel. We're gonna hold for five, four, Three, two, one. Gently straighten those legs. We're coming back down into our forward fold. Nose to knee. Breathing again, using those hands on the front of the legs, walking those palms 
back of the leg, slowly rolling back up to a straight spine. Head, the last thing to come up and melting those shoulders down. And let's take that chair once more, arms at heart center, or arms up nice and high. You pick whatever feels good for you. Engage those abdominals, knees, feet parallel, and with a nice long exhale, slowly sinking down so you can get a little deeper this time. Our arms up to engage the shoulder muscles. Further strength in that core. Remembering to breathe, melt those shoulders down. We're going to hold for five, four, three, two. And one, well done. Again, forward folding, knees to nose. Let's take a hold of each elbow with opposite palm. Now soften those knees nice and soft. And we're gonna sway left to right in our ragdoll. Weight now evenly distributed in the feet. And then slowly lowering ourselves down into a yogi squat, coming up on our tiptoes, knees out to the side, elongate that spine, bring palms into the center of the body. If you can, trying to walk those big toes as close to each other as you can. No mind the wobbles. And just finding a little stillness here. Just testing your balance by closing those eyelids just for a few seconds. Slowly lowering yourself down, using your hands, coming down onto our bottoms. We're going to lower ourselves down nice and slowly onto the forearms and then onto the mat. Let the head rest down, adjusting your shoulder blades on the ground. And we're going to let both knees fall out to the left side into our half spinal twist. Take that left arm out to the left and move your gaze towards that left palm. Make sure both shoulders are still in contact with the earth. And let that breath flow. Gently rolling onto a flat spine and slowly taking both knees, this time over to the left side. Take your right arm out at 90 degrees and slowly take your gaze over to your right palm. Relax the muscles in your face, melt those shoulders down. Slow down your breathing. And gently rolling back onto a flat back. 
Allow the knees to fall out to the side once again. In our Sukta, Vadakanasana, soles of the feet together. Knees gently falling out to the side and bringing those heels up towards the groin so we can feel that really nice inner thigh stretch. Every exhale, melting down a little further towards your mat. Chin engaged towards the chest, nice long spine. And then slowly straightening that left leg out to the corner, left corner of the room, and straightening that right leg out to the right corner of the room. Let those arms fall by the sides, palms facing upwards, ready to receive that energy. Shoulders melted away from the spine, away from the ears. Adjusting your bottom, shoulders, neck, whatever you need to adjust so that you can find some stillness here in Savasana. And then finding that spot on the ceiling above you, we'll close our eyes together for the count of five, four, three, Two and one, eyelids gently closed, eyeballs falling to the back of your head, tongue resting in the base of your mouth, feet falling out to each side, and arms and backs of your hands falling heavy down towards the earth. Now just taking a moment to visualize yourself in a place where you feel completely relaxed, completely happy, somewhere where you're not rushing around, somewhere where you feel completely chilled. Just taking yourself to that place wherever it may be. And just allowing your body to settle there, to notice the surroundings. Nowhere else to be, nothing else to do. Not thinking about anything else. Just enjoying the moment. Relax those muscles in your face, forehead, cheeks, around your mouth, your chin. Notice that subtle inhale and exhale flowing through your body. And appreciate the stillness, the quiet. Realizing that life can be slow, it can be quiet, you can find this time for yourself.
You are just bringing yourself back slowly to your mat, to the room that you're in. Adjusting back into your surroundings. Bringing some awareness back to your breath, back to your body. Just moving whatever you need to, to bring that awareness back. Wiggling the fingers and toes, maybe licking those lips, wiggling the nose or shoulders, buttocks, slowly bending those knees, bringing the arms up overhead for a nice gentle stretch. And then in your own time, so slowly rolling over to your left side. And then gently pushing yourself up, using your palms back into our easy seated pose, cross-legged. Head light as a helium balloon, floating upwards, elongated spine, shoulders melting down. Bringing those palms in front of your chest. Giving them a nice rub together. Just create that really nice warm energy, rub it nice and fast. Put in all those good vibes and then take them down to a point that needs it the most today. Mine's definitely my inner thighs, my stomach. And once again, rubbing those palms together. This time creating a nice positive energy. Remembering for the rest of our week, that slowness, and then taking it in through the eyes, into our minds. Namaste, thank you everybody. Have a lovely evening, and see you next week. Thank you. Everyone's still muted, I think. Sorry. Sorry, you're all on mute. I don't know how to get you off. <laughs>